I'll take a large hot uh, black. Anything else today? What would you like? And a large hot regular. And a large hot regular. That's a large hot black. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey Siri, what's the current temperature? It's 40 degrees outside. 40 degrees. Hey Siri, what's the high temperature today? The high will be 63 degrees Fahrenheit today. When it comes to our inshore game fish, no two are as different as Tatog and False Albacore. The Tog, a stout, structure-dwelling bruiser of a fish, feeds on shellfish and sticks to the bottom on rock piles and reefs. The Albi, a flashy, streamlined member of the tuna and mackerel family, rockets around the surface in pursuit of baitfish. It might be because of those differences that these two species make for the best kayak combo trip available in the fall. On this October trip to Connecticut, I'm joining kayak fishing fanatic Matt Stone for a morning of Tatog fishing on Long Island Sound. But one thing I've learned from fishing in New England is that you never hit the water in the fall without an Albi rod rigged and ready. Matt Stone is the shop manager and social media guy for the Black Hall Outfitters shop in Westbrook, Connecticut. He's made many impressive catches from his old town kayaks, but there was one fish he landed that nearly broke the internet, as we discussed on an episode of the On The Water podcast. And then all of a sudden you posted this picture and it was the head of the of a tog with your hand on it. Yeah. And your hand was smaller than like the head. It, it looked, it, it was jarring. Yeah. I'd never seen a tog that looked this big. You know, I think I immediately sent it over to Jimmy Fee. I might have even <laughs> called him and was like, have you seen this photo? Have you seen this? And I'm like, I've never met Matt in person. Does he, is he, does he have tiny, tiny hands? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yes. <laughs> um, so, so. It is, as far as I know, the largest tog ever caught by a kayak fisherman that I've ever heard of. Yeah, I, I did some searching to kind of make sure that, like, you know, to, I wanted to hear stories of other folks and sort of be like, you know, share that camaraderie. And the biggest I had heard was 16 um, from another guy. I'm sure there are others that I just didn't hear of, of course. But as far as I know, it's the biggest from a kayak, which is pretty cool. Obviously, there was no hesitation on my part when Matt offered to take me out kayak tog fishing. Our plan was for a leisurely morning launch, but being the kayak fishing fanatic that he is, Matt just couldn't resist hitting the water pre-dawn to look for a few late season stripers, despite the frigid fall temperatures. And I'm off. As I made my way out into the sound to join Matt, my phone buzzed with a text that simply read, We've got Albies. Good morning. I'm doing great. That was one of the most beautiful launches I think I've ever had. Pretty long. And then the fog just coming off. Yeah, it is like choose your own adventure right now, dude. There's a lot going on. And I was coming back over this way to meet you guys, and a uh, little school of Albies like blew out like full full breach. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> we can do whatever you want. We can go check out one of two bird nados. We can. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to resist a bird nado. I know, especially because as it gets brighter, that might die off. But the tog will always Ooh, be here. Speaking of Albies, right behind you. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a morning. There they are. Come on, we are right in them. Come on, come on. Oh, I got bumped. My goodness. Right. We're in them again. Come on. Look at that. There we go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That was a feed.
That was awesome. The Albi Endgame. So it's a, that's a big one. Holy moly. That's a tank. Nope. Yeah! Woo! Heck yeah, dude. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that guy. <laughs> I think I got it. There we go. Nice work. Yes. Gosh, that made my day. I was out there and there were like small splashes I'm chasing around. And all of a sudden I look in here and it was just like Dude, white water. They were on the, on the west side of it for a second. And we were just kind of circling and circling. And, and I threw the sand deal in there a few times and they didn't touch it. So I switched well, that over was, to That the, was last uh, week's lure. Huh? That was last week's lure. That was last week's lure. What am I doing, right? It's like fashion. It's a 24 hour hype window. And then everything's garbage. <laughs> There's a bunch. I'm so happy they're still here. This this for us is like a lot of Albies. <laughs> it, this is a lot of Albies no matter what. <laughs> that guy wasn't like a mega, but he was no no slouch either. I keep hearing the crabs in the bucket, and I'm like, there's something behind me. There is, there's crabs. What? <laughs> I didn't even see him pop up. He's a paster for sure. Doing the, gonna pinwheel 700 times <laughs> and then throw the hook. <laughs> there he goes. Or it's a bluefish, right? <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. He's like, wait a minute. Wait, I'm an What's Albie. that thing in my face? <laughs> it's a late bloomer. Look at it right out there. Fair play. leader. I got a little bay anchovy in the net from the first one. Oh, he's barely hooked. Hey! El Pequeño Tuna. <laughs> nice work. Pull them up over your head. Yeah, you always need that shot. <laughs> All right, whenever you're ready. Ready, here we go. Nice work. How about that? That's two late October Albies. Two late October Albies. That's a 200% increase from late October Albies last year. All right, let's maybe a half dozen more and then uh, we'll go talking. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah, that, that was a weird one. That was like one singular splash. You wonder if you caught the one that splashed or you caught his buddy? <laughs> That's a great question. I forgot to ask him. <laughs> I'm switching to electric chicken. Yeah, eat chick. Here's their breakfast. A little baby 
bay anchovy. It's like the size of an epoxy. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> That's not electric chicken. <laughs> yeah, wait a second. <laughs> So it's like 9.30, you wanna give it till 10 on the Albies and then we'll swap? Let's do it. Cool. That'll give us a very solid chunk of time. Just barely breaking the surface. <laughs> oh, oh, those are Albies. Albies. <laughs> Oh, look at him go. Holy moly. Oh, he missed. Hit it. Get it again. Oh. Dang. <laughs> that was an impressive cast. Swing and a miss. Twice. You, they were like, the way they were greyhounded, and then you landed like perfectly in front of them. <laughs> A lot of times I feel like they never like it when it's coming right at them. I'm surprised that guy went for it. The uh, splashes before is like, are those Albies? Are those Albies? And then that time they're like, we're Albies. Look at us. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> they're eating today much better than they have the last two weeks. Is it pretty shallow in here? Uh, 16. Okay. Yeah, this whole thing is kind of a, a nondescript like slope, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, there's only, it gets shallow pretty quick up in that corner. And then that's, the whole beach is just a very gradual slope. Shall we continue our tog adventure? Yeah, I guess so. Happy little distractions. <laughs> Probably won't be our last one. That sound. <laughs> Yeah, I don't talk to myself that much when I'm fishing, but I definitely talk to the birds. <laughs> Every time I hear that, I'm like, what? What do we got? Is that like, a huge feed? That's, is that a wake? Oh, yeah. That's a good pod. Woo, good eye. That's a big feed. We're going right to left, I think. Yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. Here we go. Yeah. Nice. I was just about to say, I can't believe I didn't get hit. <laughs> It really looked like a boat wake, the way they were all moving in the same direction. Yeah. We're going to be heading to go tog fishing the rest of the day. <laughs> Boy, this one's fighting like a maniac. He's running. Straight out, straight down. What a cool thing to spot those <laughs> and chase them down like that. Yeah. That was awesome, dude. There he comes. They're eating bay anchovies. Just spit up a whole bunch. Did he? Yeah. 
<laughs> they really looked like a fake wave. But the, it did look like a curling wave. Yeah. They were all going in the same direction. I can't believe they, they stayed like that. And then they ate too. That was super cool. Electric chicken. There it is, dude. It's all they want. All right, back to the tog. I think we. I think that's the key word to get the Albies to show. <laughs> Keep saying it. Yeah. We're gonna go tog fishing now. <laughs> We're definitely done chasing Albies. You guys are cool. Do whatever you want. <laughs> I don't even have my rod out. <laughs> Got some bait vomit. Yeah. Right, right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Right there. Goodness, they're coming right for us. <laughs> they were coming right dead ahead. Jeez. That was like the uh, the awkwardly close Albi. Mm -hmm. Where you just get like, like handcuffed. <laughs> you get three cranks and then they're. Look out go. there, huge. Um, just beyond that slick water, there were just some huge splashes. Wow. See him? I don't. I think it's, I'm in. It's the... some distance. Oh yeah! Wow. I do. Still going. Oh left my to right. gosh. That's awesome. What great Albi action. Fish are still going. I know, I'm like, I'm like slowly speeding up my pedaling speed. Still going. Yeah. Well, I mean, might as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right in them. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Yeah! Heck yeah, nice job, dude. Uh, I had to really chase those fish. <laughs> they kept moving away. <laughs> now I'm warm. Yeah, I need no to lose cold. this black sweatshirt. For late October in the sound, this is a uh, extremely memorable day already. To have this much action and have them willing and have good weather. Talk about threading the needle. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That was a great hit too, right on the surface. Yeah, get some, get some I just, just started the retrieve, so it's still skipping a bit. That's awesome. Nice, dude. Oh, he's ready to go. Ready?
boys look at us ah fall this, run specialist this is awesome man holy cow i need to take off this sweatshirt before i go into cardiac arrest <laughs> <laughs> i went from like numb fingers half an hour ago to now i'm like just <laughs> soaked in sweat new england fall huh hell yeah dude oh, i'm so excited Is that three times now that we've attempted uh, yeah. to go dog fishing? <laughs> All right, let's go togging. <laughs> it's not easy to turn your back on Albies, but tog fishing is almost as fun, especially from a kayak. You can get into craggy structure where boats can't go and use pedal power to sit over rock piles without anchoring. And no matter what platform you are fishing from, Tatog are always notorious bait stealers, and trying to connect on a hook set is just part of the challenge. Rather than cutting them to order every time. Ah! Damn it! Ah! There you go. How do you like that? Ah, you really f***ed me up. Yeah, blindly reaching behind for a crab is not, not the most fun. All right, I got a good pile. I'm gonna go drop some. I need like horse blinders. And we can, uh, you can come right up next to me if you want to. I'm gonna jig my way over there. Okay. There we go. Pretty one. Little tiger tog. <laughs> I got one that was like seven and change a couple of years ago and it had like really aggressive stripes on it like that. It was such a pretty one. Since there's nothing else around to really like crunch on your crab and pull them in with noise and, and commotion. You just have to like really build the bite hard. Oh, there you go. Oh, finally. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that explains why I'm not always hooking them. <laughs> Future 20 pounder. That is, that's a tiny tog. That is a baby tog. Look at the albies. Why do they do this, man? They know. I've ignored them twice. You can't anymore, huh? I can't. Wow, you see it? He just jumped out of the water. That was so cool. Although I had visions of connecting with a double-digit tog, the allure of catching just one more albi was too much to pass up, and I knew the tog weren't going anywhere. I was watching him like, he's gonna get bit. He's right in him. He's gonna get bit. Yeah. He, he went for it. Well, we can get tog footage. Holy oh, <laughs> You said tog and the Albi came. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was so cool. See that? <laughs> the wow. second it landed. I didn't even start reeling. Ah, nice uh, popped off right there. By the time we finally turned away from the Albi Blitzes, the tog were still feeding heavily. We held our positions over a small reef in about 15 feet of water, and the bites came fast. <laughs> but they're not big. Right 
and the old gummy lip. While I covered the quantity side of the tog fishing, Matt took care of the quality, catching and releasing several keeper-sized tog, including a seven-pounder on his last drop of the day. Hey, 7.3. Oh, damn. Wow, you added that on the slide. I didn't even see that happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's bad. That's a pretty one. There he goes. Nice work. That's a good one. Like I said. Who does that? Oh, you know what? Just get one more to end the day. <laughs> yeah, right? I kind of manifested that one. <laughs> when we ran out of time, Matt passed off the remaining crabs to a couple of other kayak fishermen, and we headed for the launch. We're chumming, baby. Yeah, Look at it. that. Do you need some? Got you. Wow. Yeah, oh, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, dude. Overall, the day didn't go as planned, but there were no complaints from me. While I'd driven to Connecticut with visions of double-digit tog in my head, I'd be thinking about those ferocious Albi blitzes all winter long. <laughs>